I'm the peanut butter ninja. You're the jam squad. Someone says, could you get EA to bring back boss hunts for GW2? Justin, former director, creative director at Garden Warfare 2. He says, sadly, there's no one left on that game. It's being run by an AI called Steve. Obviously, that second part is not true. What is true, there's no one left to work on the game. They have completely left the game. They're going to let it die. They don't care. That's a shame. GW2 deserves better. We deserve boss hunts. Period. So, if we had any hope for a boss hunt, we now know there is no hope to be had. No more boss hunts. No more anything. That sucks. After the failure of BFN, they should have all went back to GW2, added a remake of the Garden Warfare 1 Turf Takeover maps, rebuild them from the ground up so all the characters could play on them, add Boss Hunt as a permanent option in the multiplayer portal, add crossplay, continue the three events and one community challenge per month. If you do that, you got yourself a thriving game. But they didn't do it. They're not going to do it. So what can you do? All right, so this one. Did you work on Battle for Neighborville? If so, can you explain why the game was changed so uh, drastically instead of just being GW3? All right. Before it was called BFN, it was called GW3. You can see that in the game files that people have shared. So, Justin, former creative director of GW2, now works for Battlefield 2042. He says many, many, many reasons. He cannot give you the reasons because he still is a EA employee. And besides that, he still is an employee of a video game company. If he was to throw serious shade at EA, he would be fired. And if he tried to work for a different company, they wouldn't hire him because they know he'll throw shade on that company. So that's why he can only say many, many, many reasons. We did a complete art slash engine update. The Frostbite engine. EA makes every single game developer use the Frostbite engine, even though it's not built for every kind of game. EA doesn't care. They force them to use the Frostbite engine. And this causes problems sometimes. So, EA tells PopCap, you have to use the latest Frostbite engine on your game. So, what that means is, every character, animation, texture, had to be rebuilt from the scratch. So that means over 100 characters from Garden Warfare 2, plus the new ones, would have to be built from the ground up. And to that, PopCap said, no thank you. We don't want to do it. We're not going to do it. So we would have less characters than GW2. That's an understatement, which wouldn't bode well. That's an understatement. The fact that you had over 100 playable characters in GW2 and you only had a handful in BFN, yeah, that was the death nail in that game. Now, here is the most stupidest thing Justin has ever tweeted. Now, get ready for this. We moved away from loot boxes. What? What? Loot boxes? There were no loot boxes in GW2. What is he talking about? So bye-bye card packs in the sticker book and etc. All right. I have tweeted Justin asking him, Is he on drugs? Does he drink a lot? Because sometimes he says the most dumbest things, but this right here 
is the most stupidest thing he's ever said. Garden Warfare 2 did not have loot boxes. Obviously, he does not know what a loot box is. In Garden Warfare 2, if you spent real money on a sticker pack, you knew exactly what you were getting in that pack. It was not a gamble. You knew exactly what you were getting. That is the opposite of a loot box. A loot box has you spend real money on a pack. And if you want a certain card, you may have a one out of opportunity. So FIFA soccer, that's a popular game that people like to spend money on. You want that highest rated Cristiano Ronaldo, right? That's what you want. But guess what? You're going to buy those packs and your chances of getting that. I don't know the exact number, but let's say it's one out of a thousand. That's a lot of packs you have to buy. You're gambling, hoping to get that card. And as far as the sticker packs, you bought the sticker packs with coins, in-game currency. And you didn't have to grind to get coins. It was easy to get coins. And the sticker book was part of a loot box. What? This is so stupid, it's beyond belief. Once again, a loot box is when you have to spend real money on something, not knowing what you're going to get, hoping you will get what you want, but 99.9% of the time you will not get it. It's gambling. That's what a loot box is. When you take real money and you spend it in hopes you will get what you want, that is gambling. That is a loot box. Period. So to say that they got rid of the sticker packs, the sticker shop, the sticker book, because it's all a loot box, that's that's stupid. And then here's the cherry on top. So in Battle for Neighborville, um, could you not spend coins and get a customization dropped to you? So what's the difference between that and a sticker pack? According to him, that should be a loot box. According to him. See how dumb this is? And in Battle for Neighborville, you could spend real money on packs. But once again, you knew exactly what you were getting. So for Justin to say this was insanely stupid. It's no wonder BFN failed. Everyone was burnt out, out of ideas, no ability. Nothing left to give. And that's why we got BFN, the complete failure. And this is a shame. A real shame. When you have developers who are on drugs, alcoholics, who think like this, who think that we got to get rid of sticker packs and sticker books because they're loot boxes. This is how you get BFN. It's this type of idiotic thinking. So let me know in the comments, what do you guys think? Do you think that sticker packs in the sticker book were loot boxes? Of course you don't. Do you hate that boss hunt's not coming back? Of course you do. Do you hate that they didn't make GW3? Of course you do. Do you hate that they were too lazy? To make all the characters and rebuild them from scratch. That is what they're paid to do after all. And let me say this. This lazy attitude that some people have. Is unbelievable. When you get paid 
to do something, you do it. This idea of I'm getting paid to work, but that's a little bit too difficult. I don't want to do it. So I don't want to do it. That attitude is so terrible. I would fire you. You'd be gone. That is a lazy, terrible attitude to have. If someone pays you to do something, you do it. It's just that simple. You're a game developer. You don't sit there and say, well, I'm willing to work on 12 characters, not 130 characters. That's too much for me. No, 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 no. You're getting paid to do it. You do it. And if you need more help, you pay more people to work and you get it done. But this lazy mindset makes terrible video games. I wish that I was in control of Garden Warfare. Everyone would be fired. I mean, every single person in that building would be fired. Out of here. I want people who are going to do what has to be done because they're getting paid to do it. And you better like it. You better have some enjoyment from doing it. You should like the game you're working on. You should be excited to do it. This tells you, these developers, they don't even like the game they're working on. Because think about it. What would make you not want to work on all the characters? Because you don't like the characters. You don't like the game. That's something you don't want. If you really loved the series you were working on, you would have been excited to rebuild all the characters from scratch. You would have had ideas to do little additions to each of the characters to make them that much better. But this just proves beyond a shadow of a doubt. The people at that company are incompetent, they're worthless, and it's going to take a miracle for a GW3 to ever happen and for it to be good. It's going to take a miracle. So this is what it is. GW2 just gets pooped on. BFN is a freaking fail because everyone is too lazy to do anything. And that's why everyone is leaving the company and all you have left is a big pile of hot, steamy crap. Let me know in the comments what do you guys think. It's time to jam out.